we observe this pinus, we can see the double lead. We have a fairly good radius to the crotch of the double lead, but the tree has probably gone into this form due to the competition of the nearby tree. We've got this pine is standing in a group of pines. There's four of them here in a group, three young ones and one older one. And this young tree has come up underneath the canopy of a much larger pine. The pinus pinea stands above it. What we can see is, is that all of the lateral limbs are all reaching to the east, reaching to the sunrise. The sunset exposure to the tree is very minimal, so there's very little branching to the west. So the tree is becoming very asymmetrical. It's really leaning to the east. It's gone into the multiple lead, the double lead, and the laterals we see at very ele various elevations are all reaching to the light out from under the shade of the larger pine. So the form of this pine has been directed by its environmental experience. The way the tree has grown up under the competition of other larger older trees has caused it to take this form. This can be referred to as canopy shyness. When trees in close proximity to each other are competing heavily, the younger, the smaller tree usually will be dominated by the larger tree. So in this case, to bring back some accommodation and balance to the grove, we've taken a little weight and a little density out of the larger, older pine to give room to the younger trees. We're letting more light and air and space through so that the younger pines can regain their symmetry and natural balance. It's very easy for one tree to dominate another if its size and stature dominates the smaller trees. So we have to think in terms of harmony and balance and, and making cuts of accommodation to keep all the trees happy. These trees will eventually become the succession trees for the older pine. So we want them to continue but we've, as I said, cut a little room for them so they can come back to a better and more balanced form. We've resolved this canopy shyness and contact competition by some strategic pruning. There's a little more to do, but we've got a good forward movement here, and we feel that the whole grove is going to rise together in good strength.